Imagine if the President of the United States personally intervened to save your son from a Chinese prison after he committed a crime. And instead of being grateful, you see it as an opportunity to criticize President Trump. Indeed, you actually complain he didn't send Air Force One to pick up your thief of a son. That's exactly what media personality and former athlete LeVar Ball is doing. His son LiAngelo Ball and two other members of the UCLA basketball team were recently detained for shoplifting in China. They faced as many as 10 years in a Chinese prison. To the rescue came President Trump, who personally asked Chinese President Xi Jinping to let Ball and teammates Jalen Hill and Cody Riley go. The players were duly released. But Lever Ball not only didn't thank President Trump, he blasted the president. He even said Trump should have done more. In an interview on CNN, Ball gave a bizarre justification for his behavior. I don't have no doubts about what he President Trump did, I got doubts about what he didn't do, Ball said aggressively. How's that? While host Chris Cuomo stared in confusion, Ball elaborated on his grievances. Hey, if I'm coming to get you, let's say I'm coming to get you out of trouble, if I'm coming to get you out of trouble, you best believe I'm going take you with me, said Ball. So if I come over here, and say excuse me, or, sir, whoever, can you do something for this kid or for this person and allow me to take them with me? That's if I'm doing something for somebody. An astonished Cuomo asked if Ball was seriously arguing because the President of the United States did not personally bring the boys home with him, he therefore didn't do anything. Ball eventually said he would have thanked Trump if the President had flown the alleged criminals home on Air Force One. Some people just don't know how to be thankful, not even around Thanksgiving, said Joseph Farah, who was inspired to launch the Thank Trump.us campaign. A perfect example of such a person is LeVar Ball, the ungrateful father of a shoplifter who was facing 10 years in prison for committing the petty crime in China. Donald Trump got his son freed, and, of course, LeVar Ball has been casting verbal spitballs at the president ever since. He's a most imperfect example for every American of the way we should not be. Of course, President Trump can take care of himself. He's already firing back at Ball using his patented technique of launching savage criticism on Twitter, branding Ball, just a poor man's version of Don King, but without the hair. It wasn't the White House, it wasn't the State Department, it wasn't Father Lavar's so-called people on the ground in China that got his son out of a long-term prison sentence, IT was M.E. Too bad Lavar is just a poor man's version of Don King, but without the hair. Just think, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 22, 2017, LeVar, you could have spent the next 5 to 10 years during Thanksgiving with your son in China, but no NBA contract to support you. But remember LeVar, shoplifting is not a little thing. It's a really big deal, especially in China. Ungrateful fool, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 22, 2017 But it's just another example of how President Trump is constantly the subject of unfair media criticism, even when he puts himself out on the line to help Americans. It's time, says Farah, for Americans to step up and thank him with the Thank Trump.us campaign. If you need inspiration to thank Trump for his amazing and prolific first-year accomplishments, let it be LeVar Ball, Farah urged. WND's Thank Trump card campaign is drawing attention from conservatives around the country and was recently featured on Breitbart. Fox News hosts Sean Hannity and Laura Ingram have also tweeted about this innovative new campaign. Almost 10,000 Americans have gone to ThankTrump.us to send the president a digital card thanking him for all he has done for the country since assuming the office in January. Anyone with a computer, cell phone or other internet-connected device can participate in this campaign for free by visiting thanktrump.us, choosing one of nine card designs, writing a personalized message if desired, and then clicking Submit to send the card directly to the White House. Out of the thousands of people who have sent a card so far, 48% have chosen the spiritually-themed card that reads, Praying for your continued success may the Lord bless you and keep you. Meanwhile, roughly a quarter of senders 24% have chosen. The card with the message, Thank you, President Trump, for putting America first. 10% have sent a card mocking former President Barack Obama's promise, Thank you, President Trump, for the real hope and change. 8% have chosen the military-themed card reading, Mr. President, thank you for your service. 7% have opted for a card with an image of Trump's famous red cap reading, Magnificent, and 4% have sent the card reading, What happened? Trump happened. WND.com, originally known as WorldNet Daily, was established in 1997 as the first independent news agency. 
and WND has run other innovative political campaigns in the past, including the famous Pink Slip Project, which sent 9 million messages to Congress on pink paper threatening members with rejection at the polls in November 2010 if they did not act on their campaign promises. The campaign was so successful, it exhausted supplies of pink paper in North America. Republicans gained 63 House seats to take control of the House of Representatives in that election. WND kicked off its newest campaign last week by compiling a comprehensive big list of Trump's accomplishments, many of which have been either lambasted or ignored by the establishment media. The big list will be updated daily through January 20, the first anniversary of Trump's inauguration. Those who participate in the campaign will also be kept informed of the Trump administration's new achievements. Regardless of what design people choose, Farah says the situation with Leverball illustrates a larger point. President Donald J. Trump sacrificed a life of luxury and fame to work for the American people. And rather than being honored for his accomplishments, President Trump is criticized, threatened and hounded like no other figure in the world today. Thus, even at Thanksgiving, the nation witnesses the spectacle of a father sneering at the man who saved his own son. Whatever you do, don't be like Leverball, argued Farah. Take a minute and be grateful for Donald Trump this holiday season. Like him or hate him, you can't say he hasn't given his all for America since taking office Jan. 20, 2017. He's been working overtime to make America great. He has scored more than 150 major accomplishments in his first 300 days. Give him a break it doesn't hurt to say, thank you and job well done, media representatives who would like to interview Farah about the campaign are encouraged to email email protected go to thanktrump.us to view the various card design options, all of which can be personalized with additional messages and sent directly to the White House at no cost.